Hello, I am Dr. Ramji. Today I am going to discuss about the absolute configuration. Uh, in this class, how we can solve the absolute configuration in quick time. Okay. We know that every student, even the experienced teachers, will not have a student's perspective mind. So it is very difficult to solve the, uh, the absolute configuration in a paper because it's a two-dimensional. In a school or in the class, so we mostly uh, solve this absolute configuration by using the uh, ball and stick model. But when you are going to the exams or somewhere, we cannot use those things. So in that situation, how we can solve this absolute configuration in quick time? For example, here these are some structures we took. And uh, please remember that these are the four thumb rules I developed. So the first thumb rule is how we are going to view the chiral molecule in two dimension. Because these are in two dimension. Please remember that, that we always represent the, the stereochemicals, the structures by using the wedge bond and ash bond. The bold one is the wedge bond and this, the, the dotted, the broken one is the ash bond. So the first rule is we have to view the molecule, chiral molecule in such a way this the both wedge bond and the ash bond have to move away from us. So that means we have to view in this direction. Okay, this is the first step. First rule. After viewing the this way, the second rule is apply the assign the atoms in the plus symbol. Pick up always the wedge bond on top of the vertical line. So this is OH. This is a wedge bond. This is ash bond. That whatever the atom or group that you place on the bottom of the vertical line. Yes. As I told, we have to view in this direction. When we are viewing in this direction, this atom is in the in our left hand side. So you put that one in our left hand side of the horizontal line and the remaining is in the right hand side of the horizontal line. This second rule is finished. Now third rule, apply the sequence rule, that is to prioritize, which one, the which atom or group will get the prioritize on the basis of the atomic number. So among this, the chlorine will get the maximum priority, the highest priority, so this will get the, the first one. And this is the oxygen and this is the carbon, oxygen will get the second priority. And this is the carbon, so this could be the third and this could be the fourth. <coughs> Now we have to rotate in this way. So 1 always connected to 2, then followed by 3 like this. So it is revolving like this. So this is clockwise direction. Then it is our configuration. That's all. Now we see the, the second one. Uh, as I told, we have the both the wedge bond and ash bond have to move away from us. That means we have to view in this direction. So put this bond, as I told, the wedge bond, whatever, should be always on top of the vertical line, the ash bond on bottom of the vertical line. So when we are viewing in this direction, the chlorine is in our right hand side. And uh, this could be in our left hand side. Okay, the second rule is over. Now, third rule is apply the sequence rule. Yes, according to the atomic number 1, 2 and 3. So now you connect it, this goes like this. So that means this is going as anti, this is clockwise, this is clockwise. Now, the, what is the final rule is? The lowest priority should be in the vertical line. You see that lowest priority is hydrogen, but it is not in the vertical line, it is in the horizontal line. So, we have to get uh, by this one into shifted to vertical line by getting double swap. So, you can swap like this. So, if you swap, so what will go? So, this hydrogen will go up, this methyl will come down. This OH will go up and this chlorine will come down. So, 
I'll then apply the sequence rule 1, 2, 3. So it goes like this 1, 2, 3. So this is clockwise or anti clockwise? This is anti clockwise. So this is the final check. So please remember that we should always confirm that configuration after seeing the lowest priority is on the vertical line. It should be either on top of the vertical line or bottom of the vertical line. If you apply the same one, the rule in the cyclic structure also, you will get the, the, the same, the similar, the proper answer. So you can try in your own and if you have any comments, please let me know and this is my email id ramajayam at artmail.com so i hope you may like this class and uh, thank you very much